There's a new Soldier Boy console coming for some reason. AMD is looking into the USB issues that they've been having and first DDR5 module that we've seen. Let's get into all of the tech news, my friends. This is hot news where we bring you the hottest tech news that's all out on the internet. I'm your Brett host, so let's jump into the first article, which is about Soldier Boy with the Soldier Game Console. And it, I don't know how I missed this. He announced last week that they are bringing out a brand new console, building it from scratch. All new design, all new games, all new deals. Let's make history. And in case you don't remember, this is something that happened back in 2018 where Soldier Soldier Boy made a Soldier game console, but it turns out that it was just some like off-brand emulators that you could pick off on like Alibaba for like 20 bucks and just rebranded under his name and he was selling it for way more money and also saying that he had like Nintendo games and he also said for anyone that thinks Nintendo is going to sue me, nothing's going to happen, everything is legit, my console isn't going anywhere. Trust me, just like we should probably listen to that. He's building a new one from scratch, all new design, all new games, just all new deals. Just this is this is perfect. Also getting our first look at it on Instagram. Look at that. That looks like an Xbox Series S. If it made it with a PlayStation 4, like an original one that also got like shrunk by Rick Moranis, I'm not sure. It's gonna be coming out apparently. So just save up your cash now, kids. You're gonna be able to play on a Soldier Boy game console. Yo! And you should save up your money for today's episode sponsor of Hot News, and that is ButcherBox. My friends, ButcherBox is the meat delivery service that I use with my family because they deliver it right to your door at an affordable price at under $6 a meal. And they have 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef, heritage breed pork, free-range organic chicken, wild-caught Alaskan salmon. That just means it's quality meat. It's the only meat that we eat in our household because it's affordable, it's convenient, and it tastes absolutely delicious. So my friends, I would highly recommend that you check them out out because they're also running a special right now where if you use our link in the video description, you'll get two pounds of wild salmon and four six ounce top sirloin steaks for free in your first box. That's a lot of free meat, free steak and salmon, surf and turf. My friends, get it. So big thanks to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's episode of Hot News. Check them out at the link in the video description. Now let's move on over to AMD's information because they have reached out and said that they're officially looking into all of the problems that people have been having with their platform, specifically on Reddit with people complaining about USB issues where things get disconnected or they stop working, where it can also experience some power dropouts. This is not something that I've ever experienced, but it seems to be widely reported, but AMD needs more information from from the community in order to look into it. So they're asking that you send it to them in case you're interested. So if you have had any problems with your AMD USB, you should probably report it to them over on Reddit. And now we've got some reports that the RX 6700 XT is gonna get two variants. This is something that's actually been reported on previously by video cards, but now having more information coming out from the Cortex YouTube channel with him positing that the 6700 XT will have two different versions based on power draw. So 230, 30 watt and 189 watt with mostly everything else kind of staying the same but being slightly segmented from each other. It's not yet known what the price is going to be but we are looking at a March 2021 release date and we'll leave links in the video description for you to watch all of Cortex's video on this but to kind of confirm that we're getting near to the launch of the 6700 XT, GPU-Z has now added support for those cards that haven't come out yet. So it's 6700 and 6600 being added to GPU-Z and Nvidia looks to be adding another good graphics card to its lineup that you can't mine on. We've talked about this endlessly, but now we have some gaming benchmarks that are starting to leak out for the RTX 3060. It looks like it beats the RTX 2060 by about 19% in Ashes of the Singularity. Obviously, this is only one game, so don't necessarily stake your hopes on getting the RTX 3060, but uh, we have, we'll have a little report coming out about the pricing of the 3060, and it's, it's not looking too good. But now it's time for the Bitcoin update! My friends, Bitcoin went wild yesterday. Its price went wildly up and wildly down. It's currently sitting at $54,000 as of the time of recording, but you can see a massive dip right here from 53 down to 51, and then obviously climbing back up to the time of recording. And apparently that is because allegedly somebody did a transfer of $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, which led to that massive sell-off and panic in the market, not just with Bitcoin, but also other altcoins saw a massive decline in that same time period. So 
Bitcoin going wildly up, wildly down. What if Tesla, just maybe thinking about it because Elon Musk uh, is obviously all about this saying Bitcoin does seem a little high. What if Tesla sold their $1.5 billion stake in it after they made a whole lot of money and now they're just playing with profit and that way they can report to their shareholders, look, we have no original investment in it. Everything is back in our wallets, but we still got lots of cash in Bitcoin. Anyways, that's today's Bitcoin update. Let's move on to your DDR5 update because the Asgard 64 gigabyte, 4,800 megahertz DDR5 stick is right here for your viewing pleasure. It's been launched technically, but it's not supported on any motherboard or CPU. So it's not being mass produced, but we are expecting that Alder Lake will support it later this year. The company that is making it did say that they expect that it should be put onto Intel and AMD processors, which is not a whole lot of brand news there. But what's more exciting than DDR5? That's right, lawsuits. Good job, everybody. Let's talk about the Apple versus Epic Games lawsuit that's currently going on. Apple apparently tried to get Valve's information on this and they want a subpoena delivered to Valve for getting just details of their game sales so that they can use it as evidence against Epic Games to show that Epic Games doesn't need to complain about everything that's going on because look, Valve has the same numbers that you do, so everything's okay. Obviously, Valve didn't like that, they provided like some numbers, but not like the depths that Apple wanted, saying that Apple has not shown substantial need for the information it demands. First, Apple argues the information it demands is necessary to calculate market size and definition. False. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Apple, Google, and Samsung compete with each other in the mobile app market. Valve does not compete in that market. So stay out of Valve's business, okay? You gotta plug that drain, close that valve, it's not happening. Speaking of Valheim, it topped 500,000 simultaneous players. This game that just came out of nowhere, launched in just a frenzy and everybody's playing, obviously 500,000 players. It's now one of the top five most played games on Steam right now, concurrently, probably likely gonna beat Cyberpunk as that continues to go down, but people are just playing Valheim. Have you been enjoying it? Let me know down in the comments whether or not you've been enjoying this, this game. I haven't even really looked into it. I've just been seeing the hype. I am the hype! And now we can see into the hype of Intel's 11th gen processors because a tech YouTuber benchmarked and reviewed the 11700. And we'll leave links in the video description for you to check out their video specifically. It is an engineering sample or a qualitative sample. So this is not going to be the final indicative results because it's not on the, the latest drivers or release drivers or anything like that. But we do get some good indication such as the 5800X beating in certain things, but the 11700 beating the 5800X and other things. So it looks to be a toss up with us not having a whole lot of information to draw conclusions and things just being buggy with this specific sample. So hold your breath, wait for Intel to give us some actual specifics and pricing and specific release date. Once we have that, we can understand a little bit more. And you can understand that this episode of Hot News is over. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. You can watch yesterday's first episode of Hot News right here or yesterday's second episode of Hot News right here in case you missed either one of those. Anyways, I've been your Brett host. I will see you in the next one, my friends. Cheers.